Are you ready to go five pounds down by burning calories and building muscle? Me too. Grab your dumbbells and let's go. All right, beautiful bees, get your dumbbells and your dog completely out of the way and let's go ahead and get started with some arm circles and high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving through the world in ways that feel like love. And you guys, do you know what feels like love? Losing weight with the 5-0 method where every single day we do five things that make you say, oh, I didn't know it could be this simple to lose weight at this age. Every single day, we're eating the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you were eating before. Every single day, we're drinking the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in fluid ounces of water. Every single day, we are getting the right amount of sleep by going to bed at the same time every night, getting up at the same time every morning, and not worrying about how much of that in between was actual sleep, because sometimes it's not. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Every single day, we are exercising moderately, lovingly, gently, which is almost definitely not more than you were doing before. Every single day, we manage our minds by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And I have a helpful thought for you today that might not sound helpful right away. They often don't. <laughs> this one is, this is what my body is supposed to do. You guys, this is something I feel so passionately about. And even if it doesn't sound helpful to you yet, I am gonna, I am gonna talk at you until it does. <laughs> Go ahead and do some welcome to my homes and let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing today. I've got cardio and strength in a Metcon, which is just a fancy word for metabolic conditioning, which is just a fancy word for cardio and strength with no rest. So I've got the handy dandy gym bus here. Set for intervals of 25 seconds of cardio, which is like a really weird interval, right? And 45 seconds of strength. I have to tell you the fives at the end of that, I had a really hard time writing it down. I'm having a hard time like wrapping my brain around it and trying to like get a feel for what 25 seconds will feel like or 45 seconds, they're unusual. So that's what we're going to do today is something unusual. I want you to take it at a pace that feels amazing to you. We are not trying to go hard. We're not trying to lift heavy. We are trying to love ourselves through this change because my friends, it's a change and it's what your body is supposed to do. This is what you were destined for from the minute you were born. <laughs> which is so funny when you think about that because when you're young, it's like, wait, no, I'm never going to go through menopause. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you are. You guys, let's go ahead and get started. Our first pair of exercises, we're starting with cardio, is bug slappers, which is where we start like the letter T and then we reach our opposite hand out towards our opposite stepping out foot. There are some transitions today. Here we go with bug slappers. There are some transitions today that I know for a fact are going to be really challenging for me. They might be challenging for you. It kind of depends on your coordination and where you are with everything. But here's the thing. I did that on purpose. I legitimately asked myself to transition awkwardly because I kind of felt like that was a metaphor for me transitioning awkwardly here in menopause. You guys, when it beeps, we're going to grab our dumbbells and we're going to do curling sidekicks. Go ahead and put those elbows right into your waist. We're going to do dumbbell curls while also kicking out to the side. And by kicking, really what I mean is you're standing on one foot and picking up the other one out to the side. My friends, here's what it looks like today. We are doing a circuit, which means that we're gonna do pairs of exercises and then we're going to come through this whole list, oh my gosh, after we fall over, one more time. So when it beeps again, we're gonna put our dumbbells down and we're doing dancing X's. Your hands are gonna be out wide, your feet are gonna be out wide. We're gonna reach in the middle with our opposite elbow towards our opposite knee. This is, this is awkward as these things are because we are going back and forth between cardio and strength. We're constantly in a state of kind of having our brain go ahead and put those dumbbells down and here we go with dancing X's. We're constantly asking our brain to switch between one thing and another, to think about changing. My friends, we are supposed to be able to change and simultaneously, we all resist change. <laughs> like, like for reals, have you noticed <laughs> when it beeps again? We're doing wide open high knees, which means that we're gonna have our hands with our dumbbells in them, reaching, so elbows out wide, hands start at your chest. As you open up your hands, we're bringing up one high knee at a time. We're changing speeds, so we're really thinking about moving at a pace that feels amazing and we're breathing 
breathing. And by the way, you're pulling in your core, you're tucking your tailbone underneath you ever so slightly. Because having your elbows up and out like this the entire 45 seconds might feel a little tough, feel free to do this a little bit lower. My friend, whatever works for you works for me. I don't want you to ask your lower back to do work that it's not supposed to be involved in. This is supposed to come from your big back muscles, your big chest muscles, your big abdominal muscles. Your lower back muscles are helpers. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down. And here we go with Papa squats, not to be confused with father squats. <laughs> We're just popping a little squat and then hands go up overhead. It's a little bit of a squatito. It's not a full squat by any stretch of the imagination. We are thinking about cardio when we're doing this, so it's just nice and quick. A little pop, a little squat. I'm gonna be this again. We're doing a split stance row with a kickback. I am going to intentionally think about having my left foot forward. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Left foot forward, right foot back. We're going to row it up and then do a quick little kick back here to get those triceps as well. Now here's the thing, because we are doing two circuits, don't worry about the fact that this is the only split stance exercise <laughs> that we have. Next time around, I will make sure that my right foot is forward. Really thinking about pushing those elbows, or rather pointing those elbows back behind you, keeping your arms nice and close to your body. Squeeze, squeeze, squeezing from your triceps when you're doing that kickback. Really thinking about pulling back with your big back muscles with when you're pulling up on the row. I'm gonna beeps again, you guys. We're doing low swinging tappers. Hands are swinging, go ahead and put those dumbbells down. Hands are swinging side to side, nice and low, meaning that they're not going overhead. <laughs> they're actually gonna get up pretty high from side to side, and we're just tapping our feet like Robert Palmer's. Not really Robert Palmer, though. You know, have you ever thought about that? I always call these Robert Palmer's because of that, that old song from the 80s, Addicted to Love. Those ladies with the slicked back hair and the very bright red lipstick. By the way, when it beeps again, we're gonna be doing deadlift front raise. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. We're doing a deadlift, which means that your feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart, really pulling in your core, really thinking about shoving your hips back, 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 back. And then as we come forward, dumbbells are coming all the way up in front of you, all the way up overhead. Whoo, doggies. If that feels too tough to really hang on to your core while you're doing that, don't raise your hands that high. My friends, there's always a way to modify, moderate, and make it work for you. As you come up, really pull in that core, tuck your tailbone underneath you. Every single bit of this motion, weirdly, comes from your butt. I know, when your arms are going up over your head, what? The reason your arms can go up over your head is because you're stabilizing yourself with your glutes, my friends, when it beeps again. We're doing butter churns. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down nicely. When your hands are up, your feet are down. When your hands are down, one foot is kicking out to the side. This is more of a hoe down than a butter churn, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep calling it a butter churn because for whatever reason that works for my brain, you guys, you know I have a mnemonic device for everything. If the mnemonic device for you is to call it something else, call it something else <laughs> when it beeps again. We're doing swinging knees to elbows, which means we can have those dumbbells in our hands as we do. Elbows are forward, and we're going to bring our knee to our opposite elbow, our same elbow, and then back down again. Really thinking about standing up straight and tall and about not curling down into this. Wherever you can get your knee is fine with me. Keep your elbows more or less in front of you. I know the temptation to curl down is great. However, think about keeping your chest up and head up and don't worry about whether or not your elbow actually touches your knee. It's not really about that. It's much more about using those abdominal muscles to get your knee wherever it can go. When it beeps again, we are doing can-cans, my friend, because your body is supposed to do that. <laughs> you guys. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down. Here we go with a knee and a kick on one side and a knee and a kick on the other. My friends, you will find and you will hear all kinds of information about menopause that is technically factually correct. By the way, when it beeps again, we are doing a curtsy front punch, which is just what it sounds like. It's a bit of a curtsy lunge. Don't feel like you have to do a full lunge on that. You are welcome to just step back behind you. Wait, start here at your chest as we curtsy. We're doing a front punch. I'm not gonna come down too far. I'm not gonna punch out too far. I'm modifying this to work for me. That working on that rear chain, using those big back muscles to stabilize your arm, and of course, using your glutes and 
hamstrings down in your legs to help stabilize your legs. It feels like a lot of work from the rear, so make sure that you're pulling in your core as well. The thing about menopause is that technically speaking, it is a lack of estrogen, but that doesn't mean that it's estrogen deficiency. Technically speaking, your ovaries aren't doing what they used to do, which is to say, producing estrogen when it beeps right now. We're gonna do rainbow frogs, hands going up overhead like a rainbow, one knee swimming out to the side like a frog at a time. But technically, even though your ovaries are not doing what they used to do, it is not ovarian failure to not be creating estrogen anymore. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing butterfly side kicks. Okay, I know this one's gonna be tricky, technical, tough, but here's what it looks like. Weights starting here in the middle. As we kick out one side, the opposite elbow comes up and that the same side arm goes down. I held that for a really long time, but I'm gonna do it again on this side just so you can see it. We're creating the top half of one butterfly wing with that elbow coming out, and we're creating the bottom half of the other butterfly wing. <laughs> with the arm and the leg on the other side. You really have to think creatively to see this one the way I do. Don't worry if you don't. You could actually just call it the letter X, except that I have an exercise called letter X is where we do the top half and the bottom half. This is like one cross of the X versus the other cross of the letter. You know what? You know what? You can call this whatever works. <laughs> that makes your elbow do that thing. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down. We're doing push, push, crunch, push, push and crunch, push, push and crunch, my friends. <laughs> when it beeps again. We are doing cross body crunches, which means that we're gonna pick up those dumbbells again, because that's what we do at a Metcon. It is cardio and strength back and forth with no rest. However, you notice, kind of taking my time on these transitions. I'm not trying to go crazy with this one today. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. We're doing cross body crunches. Hands at your shoulders here, opposite elbow reaches for the opposite knee. Now this one, we are actually crunching down into it. Rather than thinking about standing up straight and tall, I really do want you to think about curling down as well as pulling up. You guys, this is the entire circuit. We have seen it all. We have done it all. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're gonna see it all and do it all one more time. So when it beeps again, we're doing those bug slappers starting from the top of our circuit again. Not that I expect you to memorize it. I have a whiteboard because, oh my gosh, if I had to memorize these exercises, I've thought about this before. I cannot imagine being an instructor who doesn't have some sort of written version of my workout in front of me because I would be terrible at that. Go ahead and put those down bells down hands out to the side. As you step out, we're reaching down as though you were slapping a bug off the inside of your thigh, knee, shin, wherever you can reach to, whatever feels good for you. I notice that here on round two, I'm a little bit more warmed up, a little bit more limber. I feel like I can get down a little bit lower when it beeps again, doing those curling side kicks, grabbing our dumbbells, doing dumbbell curls with our arms while kicking out to the side with our legs. Awesome, awesome job, my friends. Your body is so supposed to go through menopause. And if you are not menopausal right now, if you are either long past or long before or wherever you are, whatever your body is doing right now, it's actually supposed to. And I don't know if you've ever thought about that. We very often think that when something is different in any manner, that perhaps our body is doing something wrong. And maybe you even have some sort of condition where your body is doing something different than it could be doing. And here's what I want you to know. Your body has a standard operating procedure for everything. Coming up right now is dancing X's. Hands are wide, feet are wide. Opposite elbow to opposite knee crunch and here in the middle. This is cardio, so we're thinking about moving at a cardio pace, which frankly at this point is anything. <laughs> My heart rate is already up to a nice moderate point, so it doesn't really matter how fast or how slow I'm going. It's staying up, staying elevated, and that's what we're doing today. Working on our heart and lungs, working on our muscles and bones. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Here we go with wide open high knees wherever you can open and wherever you can bring that high knee to. My friends, your body is doing what it's supposed to do with the inputs that it has and with the way that it is designed to work. Sometimes, sometimes there is a the clink in the design. Sometimes there is something that your body has done 
to be different than what it could be doing, but then it is responding and behaving as though that is what it is supposed to do. Your body is always doing what it thinks it is supposed to do. Let's go ahead and put our dumbbells down in here. We go with Papa squats. Sometimes, in fact, maybe even sometimes frequently, what our body is supposed to do is not what our mind wishes that it would do. I mean, if we're talking about weight loss, your body's weight is going to fluctuate. Your weight is going to go up and down on its way down. When it beeps again, we're doing that split stance row with the kickback, which means that I am really gonna intentionally think about putting my right foot forward. Grab your dumbbells. Here we go. Thinking about it, right foot forward, left foot back, row it up, elbows point backwards, and then kick it back, bringing those hands down next to your hips. Really thinking about stabilizing yourself here in the middle. I always have my foot, no, excuse me, my heel up off the ground on that back foot. Part of that is my own flexibility. Part of that is because this is a little bit tougher on balance for me to have less foot on the ground. The fewer points in which you are touching, the harder your balance is. Help yourself to whatever feels best to you. When it beeps again, we're doing those low swinging tappers, really thinking about squeezing with those triceps. Here on round two, some of the muscles are starting to get a little bit fatigued. So your elbows might be coming out a little bit wider. Well, now they're done, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and do those low swinging tappers. Here we go, tapping from side to side, not like Robert Palmer, like Robert Palmer's girls who had no names. Shall I go on a feminist rant? <laughs> I could. <laughs> Because I do kind of wonder, I kind of wonder if he had given them some sort of a name as his band or whatever, or if it was just the Robert, Palm, Robert Palmer girls. Here we go with deadlift front raises. Oh my gosh, the 80s were so different. They really, really were. And actually, I mean, okay, without going on any kind of a feminist rant, here we go with the deadlift with the front raise all the way up, really thinking about squeezing your glutes to make this whole motion happen. Push your hips back, pull your hips forward, keep your hips stable while your arms raise up overhead. My friends, some of modern medicine, really specifically the way some people talk about menopause, is rooted in not understanding women and or in, I, you know, I, I shouldn't have started that sentence because I don't really know how I want to finish it. There are, there are words and phrases. Here we go, putting those dumbbells down. And it's time for butter churns. There are words and phrases that we use like estrogen deficiency or ovarian failure that really imply, I mean, not even imply, they overtly state that it's wrong to be a woman going through menopause. And the fact is it's not. Women have been going through menopause since the beginning of women. <laughs> Since there were women, there has been menopause. Your body is supposed to do this. You guys, let's go ahead and do swinging knees to elbows. And thinking about it like that, opposite elbow, op same elbow, and then down. Elbows pointed forward, Whew, bringing that knee up as high as it can go. Really thinking about your balance, thinking about bringing this work all the way up into your abs. Use your core for this. So use that glute to stabilize that leg. Unclench your toes, my friend. And try really hard not to curl down into it. When it beeps again. We're doing can-cans. The thing about your body is that this is what it's supposed to do. It really is. And thinking about that as a helpful thought means that that thought actually feels good to you. And to be fair, it might not feel good to you right now. It might not feel true. It might not feel reliable. It might not feel like something you want to think. Here we go with can-cans. A knee and a kick and a knee and a kick. And therefore, don't try to jump instantly into that thought like some kind of affirmation like, oh, I feel better because I'm telling myself that this is what my body is supposed to do. If you don't have any emotional resonance with that sentence, it's not helpful for you. When it beeps again, we're doing that curtsy front punch with our dumbbells. Excellent job. And that really is the trick about finding your thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. You always know if a thought is helpful, if it feels good. If the thought fills you with doubt, fills you with rage, fills you with, with disbelief, it's not helpful for you. And that's completely okay. Like, let me be really clear about that. You don't have to agree with my helpful thoughts. You don't have to agree with anything I say. You don't have to agree with my exercises. You don't have to agree with how much I talk. You don't have to agree with the way I do my hair. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You don't have to agree with the things that I do. Make things work for you. And sometimes that means disagreeing with me. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing rainbow frogs. Or at least I am. <laughs> you can do whatever feels best for you.
for you, whatever feels like a good workout, whatever feels moderate, whatever feels like it's getting you to your goal. My friend, when you make things work for you, when you have that emotional resonance, when this feels helpful to you, it will be. When it beeps again, we are doing butterfly sidekicks. I'm gonna think about this real hard, this awkward transition where my body is doing what it's supposed to do because my body is actually supposed to be awkward. Like here's what I'm talking about with your body is doing what it's supposed to do. There are movements that I have never practiced. There are things that I have never created for myself as a skill. You, moving like across my body like this, I've been working on for a while, but this specific exercise, I think this has been included in what, like two videos ever? I don't expect you to know that either because if I don't know, you don't know. But I mean, this is not a movement that I have memorized. This is not a movement that I have been doing for a million years. My body is supposed to feel weird <laughs> doing this. My body is supposed to be like, this is new and different. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down. Here we go with push, push, crunch, push, push, and crunch, push, push, and crunch. Even exercises that I have been doing for years sometimes still feel kind of awkward. I am awkward. I just am. And I'm okay with that because this is what my body is supposed to do. I have only ever given it the inputs that I have given it. I have only ever asked it to do, here we go with crossbody crunches, the things that I have asked it to do. And therefore, there are some things, cross your body, meaning your opposite elbow towards your opposite knee. And you guys, when it beeps again, we are done, but we're not quite finished. I've got one more pair of exercises that we are going to do whew, one time. It's just, it's a finisher, which means that we're going to go through this pair just the one time. So when it beeps again, we are doing speed skaters, the newly renamed swooshing skiers. It's the one where we're doing the infinity sign in front of us while swooshing, which is why I still want to call it a swooshing skier, but it's a speed skater move where we are swooshing from one side to the other. Oh my goodness, I almost fell over on that one. <laughs> Really thinking about pulling in your core, thinking about reaching across your body. Here we go with those speed skaters. Infinity sign with your hands, nice and big if you want to. This is the finisher. We're actually really thinking about balance as much as anything else, as much as cardio, as much as strength. When it beeps again, we're doing a front kick side raise on the same side of your body. This again, intentionally awkward, intentionally difficult, intentionally not something I have done before. So a side raise, front kick on the same side of your body, which means that you're really throwing your balance off of that other side. We're taking our time. This is just one interval. The next time it beeps is the last time it's gonna beep. I'm really specifically thinking about drawing this power from the fronts of my thighs, your quadriceps doing this work. This is actually a knee strengthening exercise. If you have ever done knee physical therapy, you have done something very similar to this. This exercise is so particularly difficult for me because I have not asked myself to do it. This is how my body is supposed to feel doing an exercise ha, that I have never done before. My friends, go ahead and put your dumbbells completely down. We are better than done. We are finished. Let's go ahead and cool this down. Okay, there it goes <laughs> with some arm circles. My friends, this is what your body is supposed to do. Your body is supposed to get sweaty. Your body is supposed to feel the way it's supposed, that it does feel. It's supposed to do the things that it is doing. Some of them are awkward. Some of them do not feel fun. I'm looking at you, insomnia and night sweats. <laughs> but this is actually what your body is supposed to do. This is a transition that we are supposed to go through. And, and thinking about it that way feels helpful to me because I have found lots of unhelpful thoughts. I have actually found a lot of those thoughts about, I don't like this, I wish this wasn't happening. And knowing that those are unhelpful is why I told myself this helpful thought. I wanted to be able to kind of balance it out a little bit. If all you're finding are the unhelpful thoughts right now, that's completely okay. Open it up. <sighs> and give yourself a great big hug. My friends, no matter where you are in the menopause transition, in your mindset transition, give yourself a nice pat on the back right there and, and give yourself a little bit of grace. Finding helpful thoughts is actually really rare. It's why I offer them to you as little tiny gems <laughs> because we have so, so, so many unhelpful thoughts and it's completely okay to have those unhelpful thoughts and, and it's 
kind of nice to just have that one helpful thought that kind of that kind of helps us through my friends, thank you so much for working out with me today. You guys, today is day one of another five day series. We really started off with some heavy stuff today. <laughs> I know, I promise it's not all gonna be like this. Some of it's gonna be like actual fun and laughing and stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure that you subscribe before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.